have been helpful to you so far. And today we're going to go over tables, alignment, and CSS code. So to start off, I've got the basics written out here. Um, you can have the title, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be that. I'm going to write in um, the style for starting off the CSS code. So we're going to go type equals text slash CSS and uh, end that off over here. So we're going to start off with a basic body and um, not a comma. Need some of those braces. We're going to add um, background uh, dash color colon and type in uh, that symbol we're gonna say six fives and semicolon and that off save that check your browser and it should be this back color here um, go back into the text editor and go uh, let's see here to the body we're gonna go table and that off gonna go uh, TR and that off TD and then that as well and we're gonna in there we're gonna type in hello world keep it all spread out keep it organized <laughs> um, save that check out and it'll say hello world there's no background or anything it's just gonna say hello world um, to change all of that around we're going to go into the styles over here, the CSS, and we're going to go table. Add some braces in there. Type in background color, colon, and we're going to have it black, which is six zeros. And we're going to have color, which is going to be the font color. We're going to have that white, which is... Um, six F's. Save that. You're going to see that it has the table, has the back black background, and the white text. So, go into your editor again, and um, under TD, right here, um, go to the next two lines, type in another TD, and that off, and then type in hello, or yeah, hello, second world. Oops. Save that. View it. It's going to just show it right beside that. So go back in. And we're going to add a border to the table. So above background color. doesn't really matter where you put it in the table part. But go border. 1px or pixel. And dashed. Actually, no, we're going to have this solid. And um, the color will be 5555, five, 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 no, 556699. Five, yeah, and save that. And if you view that, you can have a nice blue background, a uh, border here. And that goes around the whole table, not each individual cell. So to get it around the cells, we have to use IDs. So I'm going to show you how to use that now. So we're going to go in, and we're going to type out uh, this below this table part here, this symbol. Um, we're going to have, we're going to call it border. Go in there, we're going to type border, and it'll say basically the same thing as up there. Actually, we're going to have this one inside one dashed. And the color will be that color. 6699. Okay. So if you look at it, it won't have changed anything. I saved it. It doesn't change anything because it's not anything yet. It's just an ID. We haven't said anything yet. So go into the TD, the first TD. Make sure that we're going to get it all. So go ID equals border. 
and then to the next one ID equals border I'm going to save that if you go in here uh, click refresh it's going to show you that you have individual cells marked off you can highlight through them um, and uh, we're going to make a next row thing here so at the end of the TR we're going to make a new TR and that we're going to make a new TD and that off as well so if we go and look at this we're going to say hello third world try to spell it right third world okay and we're going to say call span equals two and that means that it's going to go across two columns instead of just going across the one is uh, well actually i'm going to show you before you add call span and then after so if you refresh it it's going to you can see that right here it moves this hello world out because it's in the same row right so we're gonna go um, we're gonna go call span equals two that means that it's gonna uh, take up both of these columns instead of just the one so it has the room to go across both so we're gonna add the ID to that one as well so I'm gonna add it to the beginning ID equals border save that check it out looks pretty good so we're gonna say let's see what we're gonna do here we're going to go to the table part here at the very top again not very top but yeah of the body we're going to go uh, with equals 850 um cell padding no cell spacing spacing equals five and that's the space between the cells we're going to go cell padding is the space between the border and the text we're going to have that equal three and we're going to go um will be good for now. So we're going to view that. So you can see that it's gotten bigger and it's more spread out. You can't see all of it over here, but it is a bit over there. So we're going to go align as well. Align that to the um, center. And that'll move. So save that. View that. It moves it all to the center. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to hover over things with CSS. And when you hover over things, it'll change the background. So, um, we're going to go copy this border one. And uh, put down some spaces, paste that right beside the where it says border, add a colon, and type in hover. Okay, now just we're gonna type in background color here, and uh, normally it would be black. We're gonna change it to that uh, blue color. So now, if you save that your page, should work. If you hover over, it's gonna change to that blue color. Um, can't think of anything else to tell you in this tutorial. I think I basically covered everything that there well there's probably lots more. I know that there's lots more. But I can't think of anything off the top of my head that I have to cover. Remember to keep practicing. Uh, subscribe to my videos if you want. Yeah, keep coming back. Try to learn as much as you can. Thanks for watching.